All right, so I'm going to make a video about uh, the, um, emotional neglect, at least from uh, my like uh, perspective on it. Emotional neglect, it can be incredibly insidious, very subtle, and it can have lasting effects that can hit you for so many years without you like even realizing it. Now, those people, like, it can be your family, it can be, like, you know, the friend that's, you know, like, been with you for much of your life, like, but essentially, like, you know, what happens, like, is when you try to open up, you know, honestly about, like, you know, the negative, you know, things that you've, like, encountered in your heart, like, uh, which ail you, and, you know, you just get, like, you know, dismissed, like, get over yourself. Like, say, for example, when it comes to, like, you know, family in particular, who you witness, you know, fighting and squabbling, you try to ignore it, you get this, you know, message of being, like, you know, just forced to, you know, toughen up to grow a thick skin, as, you know, you'd often hear, like, on the internet, you know, on the, you know, denizens, but what that really does is, you know, it deadens your heart, it deadens your spirit inside, and what's worse is, is that it makes, you know, negativity and hopelessness look appealing as a way to, like, you know unconsciously relieve that pain. A psychic medium like around 2019 uh, told me a few years ago that my energy level was just, you know, it was just stuck a few inches from my body. Like it just came up to here and that's it. As if it was just being trapped inside like a hermetic in a bubble. And I confided, you know, my spiritual awakening, my heartbreak to my like my parents as my thoughts have been like erasing anxiously as if hoping for a cathartic relief from having to stay silent on it. Instead, I ended up feeling like Agent Smith had just, you know, jabbed his hand, like, the right inside, you know, like, you know, my mind. With that, you know, sense of, you know, uncomfortable, like, you know, deadening. Like, like I was trying to, like, you know, just, you know, suck out, you know, oxygen from a canister, which only had, you know, carbon dioxide in it. I got, I felt like I got, you know, pretty dismissed, you know, just, you know, pretty much told to, like, you know, get over it. Like, uh, and stop crying and, like, worry more about securing a regular job before anything else. Especially, like, you know, love. As I walked in and outside, hoping to find a, a, some escape from that, you know, like, uh, you know, stagnant air. Again, I felt, you know, like, emotionally, like, you know, paralyzed. As I, like, you know, often did, like, when I was younger. I ha As if I had to solely rely on being able to argue and reason my way out of, like, a Kafka-esque, you know, bureaucracy to be able to properly communicate. But this was, like, the norm for, like, you know, much of my friendships, you know, during my, you know, like, years, you know, growing up, you know, in my early adulthood, especially as, you know, they, you know, ended up, you know, always turning very toxic or in one case, you know, like even life threatening. And I saw it like I would seek, you know, so badly for an escape, for, for hope from anyone, for like a rescuer. I was like Rose, you know, being trapped into marrying Cow and Titanic, you know, by her, you know, desperate mom who, even while the, you know, the negativity and sense of rejection I held inside for so long was like a giant in a forest of thorns which repelled people left and right, while also letting in, you know, toxic and empathetic, you know, self-serving people, you know, for company or other, you know, wounded souls I might encounter with the pretense, like, you know, if I could, like, help them, maybe I could, like, make myself, you know, feel, like, you know, better, like, you know, somehow, maybe I'd have, like, you know, worth in that. And as I suffocated, you know, feeling like I was going to drown in this, you know, endless, you know, like winter. I was quietly looking for an answer to a, for a question I didn't even know, like, you know, how to ask. A quiet desperation in a vacuum of space where everywhere I'd go, there I would always be. This was why I would always feel the most comfortable alone. Long for those childhood days where I would be enthralled, like, endlessly enthralled by, you know, the games. Um, I, you know, like, 486, you know, like a DOS, you know, computer. Uh, or just, you know, listening to, like, you know, the CDs, you know, like, music and just, you know, like, immersing myself, you know, with the, you know, the soundscapes and, like, my sense of, you know, joy, like, you know, listening to all that. Or I would just be, like, indulging, like, the movies and, like, you know, the TV whenever I'm sick from school. I still remember, like, you know, fondly, like, you know, how many times I've watched, like, a Toy Story, like, you know, two or, I don't know, like, a polka, you know, like, Hauntus or, like, you know, Goldeneye. And... Anyways, like, the, the stories, like, you know, all the sceneries and the themes, you know, that, like, you know, that I would get from, like, those games and, like, a, and, you know, like, a, those movies and things, it all, like, they all carried a vibrancy, like, you know, which it seemed that other people, the kids, like, around me seemed to lack. And perhaps, you know, the re one reason I, like, you know, write or, like, express myself is to one day, 
uh, like for myself and maybe for like other people who might you know be going through like you know like you know a suffering like this like I hope you know to replace you know sadness fear hatred you know and anxiety with you know hope and tenderness like through a kiss you know by a beautiful woman who will like you know know who will like you know love you no matter what 